So we're going to make this next item quick because I need a bit of apple crop. Nobody <laughs> Thank you. Now, Lindsay was here last week, right? And she was talking about germ-free holiday. And I've taken two flights since I saw you on Have Thursday. You. And I, the people who sat beside me, I said, you know that seatbelt buckle? Have and she said, really? wiped. Yeah, yeah, wet did, wipes. Uh, yeah, I told them all where all the germs were and everything else. Did you blame else. it on me? It's not blame. It's, it's, no, it's, a, it's a gospel that you're spreading. So even more summer tricks, Yes, okay? we have today. So we're starting with the washing machine, first of all. Um, now, your washing machine does need some TLC every so often. Um, and over the summer months, they can get a bit musty mm. and they can start to smell a bit and mould can build up in them. So just two really simple tips here. When you've finished your load, when you've got the condensation and that on your door, leave your door open for about half an hour and let the inside of your machine dry. Yes. Um, the same with the drawer as well. Just leave it slightly open. They um, get so grubby, don't they? They do. They can get build up a product and stuff. But just by leaving it open, you're just letting it air. And then every so often, just get some white wine vinegar, pour it into the detergent section and just run a rinse cycle. And it's so easy oh. to do, but it will keep your clothes and cleaner. it doesn't smell of vinegar. It doesn't, no, because it disperses really, really quickly. Um, but it's, be mindful of your washing machine. Just give it a bit of TLC and a pat on the back every so often. It does yeah. a lot of work does for a lot us. Of work. And I always say the things that clean for us need to be cleaned. Yes. Like, you need to cl clean your vacuum every yeah. so often, don't you? OK, moving on to your beach towels. So you go for your two-week holiday to Spain or wherever, you can only fit one towel in your case. So every day you're using that beach towel. You've got no washing machine with you, so what do you do? Um, so you I... go to a hotel that provides you with towels. Some yes. do. Well, <laughs> well, people don't okay, do that. I, I go on a budget. A on <laughs> well, people, because they might be in Venice. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and you know, some of the posher right. hotels provide right. you with a towel. OK, so what I tend to do is um, I make up my own homemade fabric refresher. So it's not one that's bought from a shop. It's literally water, lemon juice, which is essential oils, 20 drops of those, and a couple of spoonfuls of bicarbonate essential of soda. Essential oil lemon. Yes. yes oil, and the, not lemon juice. No, juice. sorry, essential oils. So 20 yeah. drops in here. Now, I want you to smell this. You just spritz it onto your towel yes. before you hang it over the balcony. Mm -hmm. Now, you smell that. Oh, yes. That's good enough. To it eat. smells lovely. lovely. And lovely. what happens with this one is the bicarbonate of soda that's in here is going to break down those odours that you pick up around the pool and, and stuff. And there's bicarbonate of soda as well? Yes, yeah. in yeah. here with the warm water and the essential oh, oils okay. of lemon juice. So it's a natural homemade remedy. It does smell lovely. It does. Um, and it's, it's, you mm. can make that up really quickly when you're on holiday, so it's, it's really simple to do. Sun cream stains. Bane of my life. My biggest question on Instagram. Swimwear, sun, sun cream stains. Drives me mad. Like yellowy, everything goes a bit yeah, yellowy. And if if you don't treat your sun cream stain quick and you've been in the sun all day, the sun is naturally going to set the stain yeah, even further yeah. into your clothes. My favourite white bikini with yeah. sun cream on. So what I always suggest is, is when you get back to your room or something, flush the garment inside out under a cold tap to start pushing the stain back the out. Cold? Yeah, ice cold water. Oh. Warm set stains, cold, oh. starts to release stains. And so do that. From the back? From the back. So reverse it under the tap. Okay. Then use your white wine vinegar and just just pop a splash on the top. Um, what, leave, it leave, to, it? Yeah, leave it to soak 15 minutes to wash it and your sun cream stain will come out. Another fix for sun so cream stains. do you stains. take white wine vinegar and something like that? Yes, you can. You. Yes, you can. Do take a little thing with you like this. You can also use eucalyptus oils as well. That's really, really good for sun cream stains. So just moving on to bikinis, because what you mentioned yeah. earlier on, Ruth, is that your bikinis sometimes lose their colour. Yeah, they go a bit yellowy, they don't fade, they? fade, and that is because of the chlorine in the swimming pools. It's because of the sea, the salt from the sea. Um, so always recommend that when you come That's back nice to your room, yours, nice. Yeah, of course. They're very nice, pink, like pink. that. Um, so rinse it under the tap when you get back. And then rather than wringing out your bottoms, and you know how you get a saggy bum sometimes, <laughs> you put your bikini on, it's all saggy at the back. We don't want that. No. So my top tip here is, is to get a flat towel, pop the bikini bottoms in like so, and just push the water out. Yeah, I yes. stand on it. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. When I was at boarding school, if you had to, hadn't done your washing, I used yeah. to wash my school shirt, and then we'd roll it in a towel, yeah. and then we'd all be three oh, girls, stand... and we'd all be oh, standing get... on it like that. Oh, I need to try, try that later, don't I? Chair, so but it's, it's quicker, and it doesn't ruin the shape of your items yeah. as well. Um, garden toys over the summer months, if you've got small kids that are out in the garden, then the heavens open for three days and no one goes out and in the garden. Pretty. Yeah, and you go out, the toys are all disgusting, there's mould patches on them. Um, warm soapy water, bit of white wine vinegar to combat the mould. Alternatively, plastic toys like this, you can pop in the dishwasher. Yeah. Pop, pop them on the top yeah. shelf, do a cycle, bit of lemon juice rather than using a tablet, mm. so it's 
eco and you're thinking of your child in case they put them in their mouth. Really, really simple trick, that one. OK, I want to tell you about a really good tip to use with flip-flops and talcum powder. Mm -hmm. So you go to the beach, your feet are covered in sand, aren't yeah, they? I, I... And then you go to the tap at the beach, wash your feet, and then all of a sudden the sand's all back. Yes. That's really frustrating, isn't it? What I recommend is talcum powder. So as you're coming off the beach, have a small talcum powder in your bag, cover your feet in it, pop your flip-flops on, the sand will just disappear. And it's actually a really so lovely... Thing. Walking, yeah. the sand and it, it gives off. you a barrier and it stops the sand from coming on your feet, which in turn stops it from coming into your car um, yeah. and into your home. So it's a really, really good tip. Um, if you have had Any sand, talcum powder? Yeah, any. Yeah. You, just, you don't need to take that out with you. Just take a mm. small amount in a little mm -hmm. tub or something. Um, and by the back door when you've had a beach day, handheld vacuum is always really, really useful. Um, and a lint roller for the back seats of your car. That's, uh, <laughs> it's always really good as well. And then I want to show you finally, this is one of my favourite summer tips, barbecues. Hate, Who hates hate cleaning, cleaning the barbecue? Well, I don't like barbecues. They're just. And I hate anyway. to use, like, in my oven and on my barbecue, I'm so anti-using these really highly toxic products yeah. that then linger. So this is what I do, is I cut an onion in half, Put it on a fork, don't laugh. Yeah. And then you just rub it all over the grill here, like so. Yeah. And really? this will start... The, the onion will act as an antiseptic and it will start killing and all the burnt-off food will all come off. The onion will actually disappear and come to I nothing. I was say, everything not the taste of onion? No, that, because they all, it all, the yeah. smell goes. Yes. And if you don't have a barbecue for another week, it'll all be gone. And why, what does the onion do? It's like an antiseptic. So it's yeah. really, really killing all those germs. And this, just do this until your and onion the nearly is, disappears. Yeah, and then you can cook the onion afterwards. Yeah, if well you wanted fair. to. <laughs> so Lindsay, it's really simple. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate that.